Hello mga katag, eto nga kasama mo na naman, Pepper Ru. At eto, no, fresh na fresh ang artist na makakausap natin today with her new single and naririnig nyo na yan dito sa Tag 91.1 we have here, Mona Gonzalez. Hello, how are you? Hello po, mabuti naman po. Kayo po, kumusta? Mabuting mabuti, Mona. I like it, no? Kasi I've listened to your <laughs> song, no? And uh, I... nakaka-ano siya, kumbaga nakaka-hook at nakaka-LSS oh. sa Always Remember, no? And nat- natutuwa lang ako sa'yo kasi how young are you? Oh my gosh! I am 28 years old. No way! <laughs> yes po! Opo. Papa sa kang alam mong ano, college, ganyan. <laughs> Yung nag <nag-aaral. laughs> Pwede naman po, college 28. Oh, nag sa third course. Yeah, exactly. Pwede <laughs> naman yun. But how long have you started your music career ba? Actually po, um, since bata pa po ako, kumakanta na po talaga ako. Pero as an artist, bago lang po ako. Um, I just debuted last November 29, 2022. And wow. ayun, mga ilang months pa po ako sa music industry. So kumbaga, baby baby pa tayo dito. But Yes, yes po. As a rising artist, how do you think you're different from the other OPM artists? How do you differentiate yourself? Actually po, for me, the way I would like to answer that, wala po akong pinagkaiba actually sa mga ibang singers. Sasabihin ko na lang po is yung goal po. Kasi just like other P-pop artists or other solo artists from the Philippines carrying OPM, gusto ko po na maipalaga na po sa buong mundo na OPM and P-pop ay ano po talaga, malaki po talaga ang potential niya. And so, with that, I am one of those artists po here in the Philippines na yung main goal po namin is talagang magboom po talaga ang P-pop. Siguro yung pagkakaiba lang po siguro is yung identity or like how we carry ourselves because diba individually we are all unique in our own ways. And mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and actually po, um, I have some like, you know, skills and um, characteristics of pag-sing, pero I won't reveal it now. In the future, the people will find it out and that's um, something to look forward to. So, abangan niyo po ah, yan. <laughs> meron pala, meron pang mga pasabog later on si Mona. So, ikaw, when you create your songs, when you create music, where do you usually get your inspiration from? Um, my inspiration po sa pagsulat ng mga kanta is gamit po yung mga feelings ko po. Yung nararamdaman ko, yung mga nangyayari sa paligid ko, mga experiences ko po sa buhay, tsaka yung mga gusto ko pong i-express na hindi ko po siya nasasabi through words. So, talking about my song, Always Remember, I created that song, I wrote that song based po sa kung ano po yung pinagdaanan ko on that day nung isinulat ko po siya. So that day, ano po, um, I was uh, alone and parang nacha-challenge po yung sarili ko. And I feel like I don't want to continue what I'm doing. Parang nagda-doubt po ako sa sarili ko. But then instead of like uh, quitting, when I saw myself in a very big mirror inside the studio, parang sabi ko na, hala, dito na pala ako. So there's no reason to, there's no reason to, quit or to stop or to doubt myself. Mm-hmm. So that time I just needed somebody to remind me or encourage me but then nobody was around me to encourage me that time like I was really 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 alone. And so na realize ko na oo nga no sometimes naiisip natin na kailangan natin ng encouragement from other people pero mm-hmm. kaya pala nating ibigay yun sa sarili natin. And so I wrote everything that I wanted to say and I wanted to hear as well. And I wanted all the people who struggle, just like what I have experienced, to hear those encouraging words. So you mentioned yung how you started writing songs, no? And specifically, you went with Always Remember Your Experience as Studio. So ang next question ko kasi is, Ano ba yung uh, main story talaga behind the song Always Remember? Actually, wala po siyang mahabang process. Kasi if I write something, I will just really use my feelings and my situation 
or kung ano man yung narangy- nangyayari sa paligid ko. Yun lang po. Ganun lang po kasimple. That's how I write it. Pero alam niyo po na nung sinulat ko po yung kanta, actually po, ang dami pong revisions ang nangyari. Mm. Um, meron siyang like a more than five yata na revisions and more than five also na iba't ibang story ng kanta. Pero, at iba't iba po di, din po yung title. Pero, yung always remember po ang pinakauna ko po na isulat. And I'm so glad na yun po yung final na lumabas na lyrics. Kasi yun po talaga yung gusto kong sabihin, gusto ko pong i-express. And then, the story behind it is very, very direct po siya na nangyari lang po siya sa, ano, sa, is, sa isang araw. Yun po mismo, nung, ang story po ng kanta. And then, ano po kasi, um, that's why I said na, parang minsan, nung time po na yun na, there's nobody around me, literal po talaga yun na, parang gusto ko po na mayroong mag-encourage sa akin or mayroong mag-remind sa akin na tama pa yung ginagawa ko. Parang ganun. Kasi sometimes, we need that as well. Sa life po kasi, or like sa other people, ako po kasi yung ganun. Mm. Parang ako po yung nangi encourage ako po lagi. So, it's very, very hard na kung ikaw yung lagi nangi encourage ang problema talaga is sino ang mag-encourage sa'yo. Kasi people will tend to see na, ah, kaya naman ni Mona yan, hindi na siya nagpo-problema, masaya naman siya, she can encourage herself. But the truth is, kahit yung mga tao na malakas mag-encourage ng iba, they also need to hear it. And in my way, I just want to be that kind of person that I want other person to treat me. Parang ganun. So, mm-hmm. instead of looking for the best person or better person, I'll be that person for other people. And so, since yun nga, ang ending ng, um, ng whole song is, um, I, I also uh, became my own cheer or cheerleader. Uh, sinulat ko din siya para din marinig ko din sa sarili ko and ma-encourage ko din po yung sarili ko. Wow, that's nice. Hindi, totoo naman eh, di ba? People tend to look at kumaga, how they perceive a strong person na hindi kaya niya na yan. Hindi niya na kaya ng encouraging. Mm. Ganun. Well, everybody really needs encouraging at certain points and certain levels in their life. So, this is a good song to have, no? Na parang as part of your playlist to really, if you want a bit of pick me up for a day no i-cheer up ang sarili mo sa araw na yon isa e, ito dun sa ilalagay mong playlist na di ba always remember ganyan na you you can also encourage yourself and this song is like your tribute to other people then who needs encouraging so that's nice that's nice to have and because of that eto naman I have this segment in my show. It's called Popcorn React. So dahil kasama naman kita ngayon, ikaw ang magbibigay ng rating sa sarili mong kanta na always remember 10 being oh, the highest. 10 being the highest? Yes, 10 being Pwede the highest. Pwede ko mo sabihin na 11 over 10. Pwede <laughs> <laughs> so, naman. Pero bakit? For, yeah, for me po, uh, bakit? 11 hmm. over 10. Kasi... Sa 10 po na yun, yun po yung lahat ng taong naging involved sa pagbuo po ng kanta. Not just the song, but also the music video and yung releases and also my fans. So, kasama po yun sa 10. And yung isa po is yung sarili ko po. Parang, it's like an extra. I am just an extra out of 10 na nagtulong-tulong para ma-release po yung kanta. Ah, wow. So, 11 out of 10. So, 11 out of 10. May plus 1 pa. Yes. <laughs> Pero sige, <laughs> bigay, natin yung, uh, bigay natin yung rating na yan for Always Remember. And of course, if you could share any future projects or any anything that you could tease sa, uh, sa mga listeners natin, sa yung fans, what can they look forward to with Mona? Ah, uh, please watch or please, 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 please support me on my social media accounts and my music as well. And also, I'm about to release new songs in the future and also, perform po ako sa Pipopcon this coming March 18 to 19. And sana mapanood po ninyo ang aking mga performances. And also, um, sa lahat po ng aking mga fans, Mooncakes in the Philippines and around the world. Actually, meron po ko mga supporters sa Middle East. <laughs> wow, iba! Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. I have I have Arab fans. So, 
I think um, if they will hear about this, they will really listen to. So I would like to say to all of my Arab fans, Ana ahibukum ya motabini al Arab. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shukran and have a great day. Tag 91.1. Pinoy talaga.